the trainer in this little secluded room has been defeated at least. And therefore, we can actually pick up an item now. <laughs> we found ether. Nothing too special, but still. <laughs> Alright, there's also a staircase leading back up as you can see. And even leading further up. <laughs> Alright, here's another item. A great ball. How nice. <laughs> we got one for free. And we also got a free battle here. <laughs> I wanted to battle Jasmine. But she's not up to it now. So, how about you? I actually want to battle Jasmine, but I can't. So, I'll take second choice. <laughs> Alright, Ernest. Machop. Well, that does suit the buffy body of the sailors. <laughs> Um, although Andros is not per se the best choice, for two reasons, not very effective, and second of all, there's other Pokémon with lower level, so... <laughs> Time for Magnus again. Karate Chop. Thank you for the critical. <laughs> Fire Punch. Eight levels of difference, so I think this is going to be one hit. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Shared experience, of course, because of me switching too late. <laughs> Poliwhirl. Okay, that's a little bit of a less good Pokemon to get. Let's go to Muscle. I just beat him a chop, so let's put in my him a chop. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Also way higher level than this guy, so... Should not be a problem. Yeah, barely does any damage, your attack. But mine does. Although not enough in order to take you out in one hit this time around. <laughs> and now you are gone. Thank you. 756 immediately. And another Machop. <laughs> right, um, let's not make any dumb mistakes. We know Magnus is a better bet, even though... Machop versus Machop sounds interesting. <laughs> I want a little bit better than not very effective, if you don't mind. <laughs> At least neutral damage. Which we know Fire Punch is good enough for. And therefore, we beat another trainer. So, that also puts an end to this room. Everything else on the floor will actually meet up later on the way back. <laughs> because this way we actually reach the top already. And let's also not forget to switch. Because I'm usually a little bit too late for that. <laughs> there we go. Alright, we've reached the top. Obvious. And in here, in this weird little room, <laughs> we find Jasmine and the mysterious Pokémon. But more importantly, we found a Super Potion here. <laughs> that is way more important. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to you. This Pokémon always kept the sea lit at night. But... It suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Seanwood. But that is across the sea. And I can't leave Amphi unattended. Amphi. May I ask you to get some medicine for me, please? Okay, it seems we're being run on an errand here. This Pokemon, called Amphi... It's apparently sick. Its breathing is terribly labored. And the reason why it's called Amphi is because it's an M for us, by the way. <laughs> However, apparently we're not able to convince Jasmine to come back to the gym yet. First, she needs to make sure the Pokémon is healthy again. And therefore, we are sent towards Seanwood to a special pharmacy. But on our way down, we are going to take uh, the pathway we actually skipped because of the other room. <laughs> We're pretty high up here. My bird Pokémon are in prime form. And therefore, you are another bird catcher. Unfortunately, my um, electric type is already at level 27. And a couple of others are not, so... <laughs> Need to do it in a different way, but hopefully my neutral damage is actually good enough. Fire Punch is one of the stronger moves at this point in the game. If you're high level enough, it can even take out everything with neutral damage, as you can see. 
Let's go see if it also works with evolved Pokémon. Time for a Fero. Level 20, a little bit higher level, so this might actually take two hits. Yeah, barely, but it is going to take two hits. <laughs> Okay, that hurt. More than half of my HP is already down, so... Okay, at least the experience was good, so... Hopefully I can still get my level up before Magnus falls. Or I'm forced to heal him. <laughs> but that is something I usually don't want to do. I rarely feel it's necessary to heal in this game. Usually you have more than enough Pokémon to actually... Survive all of your steps towards the next Pokémon Center, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Unless you actually need a certain type of Pokémon, that is usually not a problem. Next battle should be a level up for Magnus. I'm pretty sure there is more trainers here. This item we also skipped because of a root technical machine for Swagger. Which is actually a really useless move, so this is going to stay in my technical machine pocket forever, <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> but I can point out where it is. Next trainer. Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokémon here. She won't even smile these days. Yeah, and she's also too lazy to actually go to Sienwood herself. <laughs> so she's going to send us. Although she doesn't want to leave the Pokémon alone. That's also that's also understandable, of course. Alright, Water type versus Fire type. Normally I would say I don't really like that, but I really like Magnus to level up, so I'm going to take you out with Fire. <laughs> Apparently still works. Finally, level 27. Which is a good thing, because uh, this place is not per se the best for Magnus, it looks like. <laughs> a little bit too many water types. We are going to switch to Muscle now. Because the same will apply to Joffrey, of course. <laughs> also weak to water types. Even though I'm pretty sure, even with not very effective moves and neutral moves, I'm still able to um, take out the water types. But if they actually get an uh, attack in... I can also get destroyed pretty quickly. <laughs> and that is a risk I don't want to take, so... Let's make sure to get out of this place. And find a better place for Joffrey to level up. This might have been the final trainer in here, but I'm not too sure about that. We did skip this floor partially, so... Mm, no, this was it. And therefore, we can actually take the shortcut home. <laughs> Just fall through all of these um, holes that we saw earlier. And they will lead to the bottom floor. <laughs> awesome. Alright. Um, next on the agenda is therefore... Heading towards Seanwood City, apparently. Even though we still need to do the gym here. The gym leader currently refuses the battle. <laughs> and it looks like... A cure for the sick Ampharos MV Can actually be found at a special pharmacy... In Seanwood City, which is the next town in the game. Also having a gym, by the way, so... <laughs> Perhaps we can also take a look at that while we're there. Where do we need to go? The next city. Olefine is where we are right now. And it looks like there's a route 40 leading towards the water. To a place called the Whirl Islands. Might also be worth checking out. And then it continues further towards Route 41, and that leads to Seanwood City. But as you can clearly see, it is a water route. So, bring along a Surf user. <laughs> but before we leave, might as well also try to catch the missing Pokémon in Olivine City. It's night time now, so... <laughs> Let's go see if we can find it. Even though the chances are pretty rare for it to appear, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I give up. It's taking way too long, so... Let's put Joffrey to my top. I think I'll wait until I get the next rod. Because with a good rod, it should actually already be possible to find the Pokémon I'm talking about. But I'm not having very good luck. <laughs> and I'm wasting way too much time, so... I think I'm going to um, wait until later. We are going to move here, Route 40, heading from Seanwood City to Olivine City. However, we're first going to talk about this. This looks interesting, right? 
This rock looks breakable. Let's use Rock Smash. Oh. Let's try it again. <laughs> We're supposed to get something the moment we do this. Still nothing. Don't tell me I'm going to have bad luck with this as well. <laughs> oh, there we go. And this is what we need to find. Correction, this is not what we want to find. <laughs> okay, let's just kill this thing. Or faint this thing, sorry. I know. <laughs> There's supposed to be a unique Pokemon you can get by destroying rocks with Rock Smash. However, I'm having bad luck, it seems. <laughs> Although you can't see it from here. Sea Mood is across the sea. Yeah, we happen to have a Pokemon that can swim. Let's get on the back of our little crocodile. Even though it looks like a Lapras because of the sprites. <laughs> oh, Game Boy memory. Gotta love you. <laughs> but there's also trainers in the water here. You have to warm up before going into the water. That's basic. It depends on how cold the water actually is. <laughs> Can't be too cold, because there's way too many people in here, I can already tell. <laughs> First one is a tentacool. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for a better location for Joffrey to level up. But of course, since we're in the water right now, we're going to be dealing with a lot of water types. <laughs> so hopefully Joffrey's able to actually one-shot all of these guys. Otherwise, he's going to get bombarded by super effective moves. <laughs> Joffrey, you need to take them all out in one hit. And so far, he seems to be doing fine. The faster the level up comes, the better. And this place is not per se meant for him, or Magnus. <laughs> oh yeah, and of course, wild Pokemon can also appear here. Whenever... Oh, it's even evolved one, <laughs> Tentacruel. <laughs> but of course, whenever swimming in the water... You also get random encounters. Water functions just like grass. Random encounters can appear. Of course, exclusively water Pokemon. <laughs> but not per se the same ones that you can actually find whenever fishing. I don't think that those are going to be the same ones. There's actually a different appearance set when it comes to swimming and fishing. Whenever fishing, you will never find yourself a tentacruel. <laughs> nope, <laughs> dang you! <laughs> You got poisoned. Well, damage-wise it wasn't too bad, but I did get a status ailment, and not per se one of the best. Oh, Harden. Pretty useless move. However, I'm currently also in the possession of a very useless move, so... Let's go override self-destruct! <laughs> Alright, not per se a move I'm going to use. But I'm also not using self-destruct, so... <laughs> Let's see if we can do something about the poison. I don't really feel like going back to the Pokemon Center already. Well, I have a self-cure, so let's go give it to him. Yeah, let's uh, switch out the Hearthstone for a moment. This poison cure berry is going to be temporary anyway. <laughs> let's go face the next trainer. Are you going to see in wood? How about a quick battle first? Well, I need a quick battle anyway, because Joffrey needs to input his poison cure berry. <laughs> That's the reason why he's still out. The self-hold item will actually um, only activate the moment a turn happens with the Pokemon out, so Joffrey still needs to be in front. <laughs> Rock throw should be fine enough. Oh, I'm not too happy about the fact that he's faster than me! Help! <laughs> that hurt! <laughs> Luckily, I survived, so after my turn, poison, which I also survive. Yeah, and now I recover. Poison cured. Let's immediately get Joffrey out of the battlefield. <laughs> He's not going to stay alive for very long in here. <laughs> Eve should be better for water gun. Yeah, way better. <laughs> One tackle is enough. Let's go. All 
Okay. Took quite the effort. It was quite dangerous for Joffrey out here, but he did level up. <laughs> Let's get him out of the front line. Eve, you're up next. Let's give him back the hard stone, of course. Should be in here somewhere now. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Let's go take a look at what Eve is actually carrying. Because I'm not really too sure what that is. Oh, a mint berry. Um, yeah, I'd much rather have something else, actually. So, <laughs> let's go see what I have. <laughs> um, hold items. This was the mint berry. Self-cure for sleep, by the way. But I should have something better. Ice berry. Um... I don't really have anything better, so... Self-cure for paralysis. Let's uh, do that for now. <laughs> I'll take a look at uh, my items uh, a bit later. don't really have all of the proper items yet anyway. Let's move on to this spinning girl over here. <laughs> no inner tube for me. I'm hanging on to a sea Pokemon. And I'm hanging on to a crocodile. <laughs> also doesn't sound like a good idea in real life. <laughs> what do you have? Another star you. If only I was able to find one myself. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have to be mysterious about it. The Pokemon I was actually looking for at night time in Olifine was indeed the Staryu. But it has a very rare chance of appearing whenever fishing with a good rod. You actually need a better one. Next up, Shelder. And that was a Pokemon I did catch in Olifine. <laughs> Only level 19. That should be no problem. The level difference is almost 10. <laughs> Withdraw. Okay. Raise your defense, so it's not going to be a 2-hitter. Perhaps not even a 3-hitter. <laughs> Confusion failed. Yeah, it's going to be a 4-hitter. Confusion failed again. Thank you. <laughs> Makes it very easy for me. You did not even damage me. One or two more battles for Eevee. Now we got a call from Chat. Let's go see what he wants. This could be a swarm. Although... No, it's not going to be a swarm. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to wait until that swarm till later. And therefore, we can easily continue. According to my map, here's another trainer. A young guy like you should swim. Don't surf on your Pokémon. Yeah, I can kind of agree on that. If it weren't for the fact that the game actually does not allow me to swim alone. <laughs> I have to swim on the Pokémon. <laughs> Otherwise I would do that. Trust me. <laughs> oh, limitations in games. Gotta love them. And sometimes don't love them. <laughs> okay, you're going to use the same strategy as the previous shelter. Using Withdraw. Although the previous one used Supersonic. <laughs> Aurora Beam is at least going to damage me. Although it's not a whole lot. Not quite. Aurora Beam is only going to do a handful of damage. And this is going to be over. One more. War Turtle. Right, first appearance of that Pokemon in this game. Evolved form Squirtle. The old water type starter. <laughs> From Gen 1. Also knows withdraw. <laughs> All of the shell Pokemon, come on. Bam. Oh, this is going to take four hits. Take a few of those. 
Perhaps even two more. <laughs> Although this guy is evolved and a little bit higher level, I think this is going to be more than enough experience points to level up. Oh, one was enough. Yeah, 612 is enough. This was the final one for Eve anyway, so... His HP dropping very low. Not per se a bad thing. <laughs> we can switch. Next, level 27 is going to be Andros. All of these water type Pokémon are screaming for him. <laughs> so, time for him to work his magic. Thunder Punch! And down it goes. Awesome! Next couple of battles should be relatively easy, hopefully. Because of my electric type being out now. 